right, so this is kind of exciting and we're gonna build up to it a little bit. Um, we had some great rains and some good warmth the past few days. And uh, those are perfect conditions for fungi. And because of some of the ways that we do things here, we've had a few different types of mushrooms uh, grow in our garden the past couple of years. Um, nothing I've tried to eat. Um, don't even know if they're edible, but we've got things like this over here. Uh, last year we had some uh, slime molds that came in. Uh, and those were kind of freaky. Didn't know what they were when they first showed up. Um, I think this is the same type of mushroom as what was over there. Uh, this is pretty. We have lots of these little mushrooms, um, these kind of wispy white things showing up. Um, let's see, there's, there's a few more of them. A little bit hard to see against the mulch. A few of them hiding here. Got some there. And there's another type of mushroom. Uh, where was it? There we go. There's another type of mushroom right over here. And when I came out this morning, I decided I would kind of look around the yard, find all the pretty mushrooms, and take some pictures of them. Because while some people don't like them, I quite enjoy having them in the garden. I think it's a sign of, of health in the biology of our system. Um, you know, things decomposing and soil being built. And, you know, they're just interesting and it seems like they're pretty harmless. Uh, so I was taking the pictures and I figured I'd come and check on our King Strafaria. And it appears, much to my excitement, that we have some fruiting bodies starting to form on the surface where our mushroom beds are. And this is really exciting. So all of those white chunks should, if I'm not mistaken, they should be Kingstrafaria mushrooms getting ready to send things up to the surface. We will see. Uh, I'm a little bit surprised to see some spreading out this far away. I planted the mushrooms uh, in front of each post. And, you know, it has been pretty wet and pretty warm the last few days. So there's a chance they've had a, uh, the ability to populate out away. Um... You know, they're not as present all over. You know, here there's only a small chunk. But uh, this could mean that in the next couple of weeks I could have some big, beautiful, edible mushrooms growing in our garden. And I cannot wait to find out. So, I think that's about it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.